Good morning, traders. Welcome to our trading room. For my YouTube viewers, this will be your weekly outlook. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And it's uh, coming up to the festive season. I want to make you guys a special offer first. If you are struggling with your account and you need help with trades you're in that you're stuck in or your account is in a drawdown and you don't know how to manage it and you would like my help and if you think I can help you, send me a direct message on Skype. You have my Skype, M-A-N-G-A-L-457. This is basically where you will contact me, anything that has to do with trading, because I don't have any other way for you to contact me. And if you're sending any message to any other place and you're getting a reply, it's probably not me. Except maybe for Facebook, sometime I'll reply to you, but I will tell you to contact me on Skype. Right? Anywhere you, anywhere you message me and I'm messaging you back will be to contact me on Skype. Send me a message and I will be able to help you. This is my offer to you for Christmas, New Year's. We also will be doing one week free live access to our trading room, the London session, which is 7.45 a.m. London time, and the New York session, which is 7.45 a.m. New York time. If you join us, those sessions, you will see what we do in the trading room, how we take trades, how we manage trades, how we analyze the charts, and it will be follow up as well. So if you join us in London, you get to see what we do with the trades in a New York session. Please join us. Share the link. Share this video. Invite your friends. Uh, all you will have to do is join us live on YouTube at that time. There is no registration. You just join. Invite your friends. Join. Subscribe so you will know when we are, when we are live. You will get a notification. And you can join us. There are also going to be special offers for you. For those of you who would like to join the group, we have New Year's gift for you coming up. So. Join us. You might get a very nice New Year gift that might be interesting to you. Trade with care. And now I will go straight into the charts. So let's start with the dollar index. The dollar index, remember what we said last week. We were expecting this to come back. Either either because we were like this. This, this trend line would have been like this. So we were expecting it to drop either as a total drop to the downside. We test the low. That's one option. Or the second option is could have been a running flat with this. That's an option, right? Now, I, it went further. Remember, this line is from here, which is a running flat like this. It went further than that. We sold it. I don't think it's a running flat with that. Now, we just broke the top. But breaking the top does not really mean anything as yet. It could be a running flat. It could be a running flat. That would be a pattern that we know. Or it could also be that we're making a bigger flat here. And then go. So... If we're making a bigger flat here, this is the first impulse in that flat. So it all depends on what happens here now, today. That will tell us whether we're making a bigger flat here, whether we're going to continue to go up, or whether this is going to drop, because all those possibilities still exist. All we're doing is going sideways. So nothing in this has, has changed anything in terms of where it will go. This still looks sideways. As a matter of fact, it looks more downside than upside. Now, what will change that is if this becomes a huge flat. If this here becomes a huge flat here, well, that changes because this is going to be a big move to the upside. If this starts to fall and break through, at least if it breaks through this, we are going to expect it to retest the low. Now, what would be your trade for the day on the 15 minutes? I can see that we're making a flat in here. There's a possibility we're making a flat right here. We've got this. This one will probably go there. Come back here. That could be a buy setup. If we get a buy setup here, we'll take that trade to the upside. Selling this might not be a good idea. If this drop lower here, going back up, buying it might not be a good idea. It has to break this stop first before, and drop here before the buy becomes a good idea. If it doesn't, then what you're doing is you're still stuck in the middle here. And there's no trade you can do in this range that will give you profit. You're likely going to be putting your money at risk more than you should. So right now, we need to wait until we have a complete pattern and then see if we can make sense out of it. If we do get a trade, if you're going to trade in this range, it's going to be really short term. You're going for four or five pips. That's about it. Gold actually, silver actually dropped. This wasn't a surprise. Uh, I think we shorted, it was, I think the first drop was in some news or something where we were shorting that part. This I thought would break the top first before it go, but it actually came down. And that is not really a big deal because you could have actually gone with this as all the correction. That makes sense. Where would silver go in the big picture? I was looking at this possibility over the weekend on the daily. 
because this one never broke the top. And if it didn't break the top, with the possibility that we have a lot of corrections in here. Because we have a lot of corrections in here, and this one didn't break the top, the two sharpest move remains these, this two. Now, that could be a contracting flat, because if this comes back as sharp as it's coming back like this, then the chances we might be making a running flat here with the possibility that we go back up like this. And if you get this flat in the middle of this structure, then you're going to be stuck in a sideways move here for a while. So that is a that is a really possible position where we are stuck here for a longer period of time in this sideways move here, right? So as this is coming down, we'll have to look at what happens when it comes to about here, right? When it comes to about the equal of this, if it starts going back up. If it goes back up, then we'll assume we're doing this. That would confirm the running flat. Should it make a correction to drop and keeps dropping to the bottom, then we will change the structure. We'll change the pattern that we have. This would be a correction of its own. This would probably be a running flat here. And then we will see whether this gets to the bottom here. If it gets to the bottom, then we're still in this one. Right? Break the low and then go back to the top. If we come and we break this low, we're definitely going to go back and break that top. That's almost definitely going to happen. Right, because we'll still be in a corrective structure here. So we're still in the corrective structure. By all means, we'll eventually go break that up. The question is when. Right? The only question is when will we go break that up? So what we're going to look for here is, is there any corrections for the cell? Any correction would be a cell setup. And I don't mean these smaller ones. Those are over. So at some point here, we're going to make a much deeper correction. Like if you look at any previous drop, right? When they drop a certain amount, like if they drop this much, they make a deep correction. If you take these two, I'm not going to even take that piece. If you take these two, that drop correction, this drop correction, you notice you started to see when that drop is ending. You see when the drop is ending here. We don't have an ending looking on this drop. So we, it probably could still go down some more. But if you're going to be selling here, you've got to be really, really, really cautious. Because this could be the final drop, right? And what that means, it might not even go very far, right? It could just break the low and turn. So the first thing is you want to see if you've broken the low already, and we did. This one actually broke the low. So this piece could be another flat. I think there's a possibility this could be another flat there. Maybe drop break the low again. Ah, probably then third, right? So there, there's a good chance we're at a turning point here for the deeper correction, not for a reversal, but for a deeper correction. Mm -hmm. Should we consider buying this? If you're very aggressive, you could consider that to retest this top because it looks like this is going to make a flat. I don't see where this fits into this for a running flat. Mm -hmm. I would probably consider an expanding or running expanding flat here if I had seen where it fits. I don't think this one fits it. Even if it's an expanding flat, then this would just break the low and probably go back up. So I think at this point, rather than trying to get into a sell, try to see if you can get a short-term buy for the correction or just wait until it corrects and then go for the sell because selling here is really, really going to be dangerous. It doesn't continuously drop nonstop. So I think if we're going to sell, let's get a deeper correction upwards or see if we even buy the correction to the upside. Gold drop. I think gold, I was expecting also this to break the top here first and then drop. Uh, would we have got a sell? Yeah, if you put an entry under here, you could have got a sell. If this was a news, you would sell this flag. I can't remember what was the drop, if it was news or not. I wasn't there on that Friday, uh, Friday, Friday afternoon I was off. But I think it was a news at 7 p.m. that started that drop. It would have been a sell. You would not put a buy for this during the news. It would not go far. Uh, it didn't come very far, and I think we have divergence. This could drop some more. We broke the top, so the bigger structure would be this. If you're looking at the way the bigger structure looks, I think we can now agree that this was the flat. This test of the top wasn't sure whether that was the top. Now we know this is the top. So there's a good chance this is starting a really big move to the downside. That doesn't mean you're not going to get correction. The move I expect to happen would be a move like this. So you could end up with a correction like this. You could end up with this coming a little more here and then actually doing something like this before it starts dropping. Right, so the move I'm expecting is this. We, we're going to assume that that is going to make a running flat, and there's a lot of reasons for that. We're not going to go to all the reasons for that, but I think we're going to probably make a running flat here and then go back to the top. Remember, I said silver will retest that top.
Silver structurally will definitely be tested down. I think gold will, but most likely we're going to come down first. We're going to do a lot of up and down, up and down, but we're going to come down deeper first before they go. So you may want to look at the gold-silver chart. If gold is going to come down deeper, but silver is just going to go sideways, you're going to find in the gold-silver chart, you're going to go down because it's gold weakness in relationship to silver. Right? So you may want to take a look at that also to confirm what we think this is going to do. Now, what I'm looking at is the long-term consolidation here. This was the first big move up impulse. And then you had to pull back to this point. What you're looking for is a time in that. This one started in 79 and it ended in August 99. So that's like a 20 year period. If you look at when this consolidation started, it started in 11. If you add 20 years to that, that is going to be 31. Well, 21, we're in 23, 24. Do you think it can get here by 31 before it starts the up move? I think that's a possibility. Right, so if you take the same 20 year period consolidation, which could happen, then the chances are this could come down here for the next, how much, we're in 24, for the next seven years. How long did this take to go down? This one was at the top here at June 11. I think that, that if I have it correct, and we got to the bottom by 15, right? So that's about four years. It could take more. Yeah, this one could be much slower, so it could take about six years. I think the top here was um, 11 and the bottom here, the very bottom here was 15. Yeah, so take four years, for example. This will take more because this down move might be much slower than this one. If that is to happen, but I think likely that is what is going to happen and we will end up with a running flat for upside. Mm -hmm. So this would be a long-term correction before you get another impulse up. These two corrections would be equal in, 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 in time and in depth in relationship. When you say depth in relationship to this, which means you're going to, if you were to pull a fib here from wherever this starts, and you can put it from anywhere, let's say from zero. I'm ah, sorry. Let me, if you were to pull a fib just to have an idea how deep it pulled back, the depth of this pullback was very close to the 786. So if you were to do the same thing here and you pull it here, and you have to pull it to the top of this move, you can put it all the way to the top there. You're going to find that we're going to be stuck at the 50. So I wouldn't be surprised if this one actually comes back here like that, even for a possible expanding flat. It doesn't necessarily have to. It could stop at the 50 and that would be okay. All right? So you would, because this one is, this one break the top, it will be in, in a running flat. This one didn't. This one, the top was here. It came down, make a flat, and they went lower. They broke this low. So, and you see the time wise in here, how slow this one went from there to there took more time than the first drop so this 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 one here could be pretty slow and get back to about a 50 fib the fib itself is irrelevant i just want to check a percentage where to where it might come back and there's a good chance you could get it back to here and then up so keep an eye on it this is coming down really fast there'll be a lot of sales there'll be a lot of buy setups both ways again i don't just look for sales you're going to get sales and buy setups because this thing would stop at some point and make some really deep corrections all right, so we're going to look for this. If you're in the cell already from this morning, if you took a cell setup from the break of this this morning, keep an eye as it comes here because this is really sharp. It's small. It could be a smaller one. They might stop, go back up, make a bigger correction, drop again. But any flag you get, you can sell. As it goes lower, the flag you're taking there with more caution, and then you wait for deeper correction. This already had a deep correction. So I don't think this necessarily is going to stop. This could drop some more, then go back. Look for flag sell. If we start to get buy setup, we'll take it. But for now, look for sell setups. Euro, I think we had this because this was going slow. And remember what I said, the chances are it's going to drop. So if you sold it there, they did make the flag we we're looking for. If you sold that to break this low, you did well. Because we were looking at this and we we're thinking this is the running flat. Friday, that was what we looked at. That's a possibility for running flat, and now you drop. What you're going to look for here is two things. Either it consolidates and drop again, right? That means we'll be channeling. If this consolidates and drop again, we'll think of a channel because, let me take this out, we'll be in the channel itself. Right? If this consolidates this way and then drop, that'll be starting a channel for upside. Right? Once you start a channel, eventually that will break to the upside. 
It's a very sharp move up. That's a really good reversal point. They pull back. You're in a sideways here. So you're going to make a flat here now. Problem is, will that flat go out or will that be a flat for downside? It all depends on how deep this comes back into this one. It's coming down. You can go for the sell setup here if you want. It should retest this low. So this sell should probably come here. Unless it stays in here longer like this and then go back up there and then come here and then go out of the structure, right? If it stays at the top half. If it comes lower down here, then go there, then come back here. You'll end up at this. You'll go to the top and then drop. So it, in here, it's going to be really difficult to trade. But if you understand how the structure could develop, it will be easy. So if anybody took the sell, not a bad idea. You took that sell. It's a really small sell. You, you, know the, you know the risk and you know the range you're looking at. It's not going to go really fast. Just keep an eye on it if you're taking that trade. As to when it comes back to this low, get it to break even. If it's not going to get there, it's going to stay here slowly, slowly, slowly. Then you can always take out it for break even and wait until one of the sharp moves are ready to happen. You have two sharp moves, one up, one down. All right? Let's see. Let's see how that goes, right? So right now you're in this. The bigger picture of this is upside. Eventually, this thing is going to break to the upside either for a deeper correction, right? Although this whole thing looks downside totally, but this here will have to break out of this structure eventually for a deeper correction and then drop. So I don't think we'll retest the top. I think most likely there'll be a deeper correction because this could be the top when we're coming down to retest that low. So all of this is in correction. And I think I explained last week that you have one, two, and anything could happen. It could go all the way to the top. It could come back all the way to the bottom. It could stay in the middle here for the next six weeks, probably. Maybe a couple of months even. So when you're looking at wave analysis and understanding how structure will develop, and you understand what the patterns are looking like, then it makes it easy for you to trade because you know the limit of whatever trade, whatever pattern you're going to trade, how far that could probably go before it changes. Right. So right now, I think, <clears throat> sorry, we are in this trade and we are trading in that channel. Assume that you will stay in the channel for now. My apologies, guys, because I have a, a throat problem. As you know, it's not coughing. So to my YouTube viewers, my apologies in advance. This was a good sell and you should have taken that sell. It dropped, pull back, but drop again. That The first pull back, you shouldn't be worried very much about that. But if you close here and re-enter, that's a good trade still. It dropped. Now we're making a flat there. Again, this one is looking pretty weak. Right, This whole piece is looking like a correction. This one didn't look really sharp. But this is looking very corrective. We haven't got that impulse up. Right? We were expecting it to come here and then make that impulse. It didn't. We're still in the downside. So if you take this out and put this more looking like a big channel forming here also, I think you can clearly see that. All right, that looks like a big channel. Drop, correction, drop, correction. I'll take this one. I'll not take the smaller correction. I'll assume that's an internal one. This would be the big correction. This is the drop. We're making another big correction here. I don't think we're taking off, right? So you got this one, correction, this one, correction, this one. We're making either another correction here and then drop again. And that could be the upside. Or this one might go up. So if we're looking at this, remember this was a big flat here before they go up. So we will look at this to see, is there a possibility that this flat goes up? It is making a flat for the top half of it. You can see that, right? We're in the top half of the impulse. The impulse is this one, we're there. And we've already got one, two, three, right? So this comes back to the bottom here. That is a buy setup, which means when it gets here, if you're in the cell, good. If you're not in the cell, when it gets here, look for a buy setup here to get it to the top here. We need to keep it in the channel. We have to assume that it will not break out. It will come back here. Should it break out, good job. Right? That means you can go back pretty high. What's the range? There's a good chance we're not going to get back all the way to the top or break even break this top, but we'll be stuck inside of this even if we make something like this. Sorry, this one. Even if we make something like this. Right? So even if we were to do this, Coming out of that channel, it doesn't mean that we're necessarily going to go back up. But try to get this trade from the bottom here to the upside. So what we will do today is we'll allow this to come back here. If you're not, if you're in the sell good, if you're not, there's a sell setup here, by the way. If you're in that sell good, if you're not in the sell, once it hits here, we start to look for this to go back to the upside. So we'll try to get a flag here, a similar flag like that, but only get it here to the upside. And let's see what happens when it comes here, when it breaks that up and it comes there. 
The hope is that it breaks out. So this is the trade we look for. We'll look, the sell is already gone. Better to look for the buy. There's no point selling it now. The low, the low of the impulse is here. So you're not going to go very far. Aussie. Okay. If you want to sell us, you could probably sell it. Let's see where we are in the bigger picture. Okay, so we were assuming that this is a running flat from last week. You remember I said Aussie could come down all the way to the bottom here to make a running flat. We're assuming it's a running flat. And if it is a running flat, the way we would confirm that it's a running flat is this goes and break the top. What if this doesn't break the top? What if this stays in this range here? So it comes back here, go back to the top there, and then we know we're going to get a sell set up. Right, that will definitely negate the running flat. This one didn't. Remember, we look at that and we said that could just be a deep pullback for one more down because we had a deep pullback here, this one here, for one more down. I don't think this big flat would be that. This would change the structure to downside, and this would be a standalone correction. And if we make a flat here, this end up turning to a flat here, then it will come and it does the low. Let me go through that for traders who are not wave analysis trader. Should this become a bigger flat in this range? All right, should it come here and then go back there and then drop? We're definitely going to break that low. Because then this impulse is totally a breakout from this. And this flat here means you're going to get one more impulse here that should bring you here. Probably not a correction drop, another correction drop, not a correction drop. And then we'll look for the upside. Because we will go back up, right? Just a matter of where this entire daily correction ends before it goes back up. See? This is the absolute low of the, uh, the, the down movement. This is the first impulse up. Right, That's a big move, first impulse up. And we are correcting that first impulse. So right now, the, the, the way we're looking at this, this is making a one, a two, and maybe a three there, or just come back to the low and then make that three. In this case, if we break that low, and if we come back, we will definitely break that low. We're going to make a running flat. That means you'll be stuck here for a while and then go back for this one. Make this flat and then drop one more. So we could be trading in this range for, I don't know, the next couple of years. If you know that, if you know the range you'll be trading on for the next couple of years and you know the direction this is like beginning, can you can imagine that the edge you already have in the market just knowing that and watch it behaves that way. You, if you If we identify this pattern correct, and most likely we do. There's a 90% chance we'll get it correct. And we got that correct. You're already having an edge in the market in the general direction. All you have to do is find the patterns and trade them correctly. Implement the trades correctly, manage them correctly, and you're good to go. So what we're doing here is trying to get the direction. Will this come back here? We'll see that with the flat. Take the trades, wait for the setups, take the trade, manage them and see where they go. Right now, the upside is off. We're looking for this to go up. It was valid until it was here. As long as you come as deep as this, it's no longer valid as a flat. So if you're thinking of buying this, that is out of the range. It's already going down a lot, which means that we could retest this low even. I can see there is a sharp pullback in this one here, and it doesn't man match anything that I see. So there is a chance that this comes here, make a sharp pullback, give you a flat there. Probably drop again, go back up, and then drop. Once we come to this level, once we drop beyond this here, we're going to come in this range of the bottom of this impulse, and then we're going to go back up and drop because this is the B part of it. So if you want to sell this, selling here might not be the best idea, although that's a sell setup, because it might just break this and then pull back, right? The possibility of it pulling back is right there. And once it pulls back now, that will be a one, two, three, one, two, three. This would be a good sell setup here. So should it pull back there, we can go with this sell to come and break the low. This one here. It could be a one, two, three. If you get it like that, it could be a single drop. It doesn't matter. Once we complete this, we'll definitely be looking for that trade up. And then sell again. So that is the plan for us for at least this week. Let's see if we can get the sell first. I don't know if we'll get a buy, but if we get a sell first, then they buy and then they sell again. That should finish in a week. So let's see. New Zealand, same thing. You've got a one, two, three here that is confirming. You just need this to stop and then turn to the upside. I think we're going to get that. We're inside it. We're still inside a corrective structure, the bigger corrective structure under four hours. 
So yeah, we're still inside this. We may be looking at this as a possible running flat, like a one, two, three. Well, this one has more than two pieces, but like this. And then we'll see if it comes back with there's a slow and then go. Right? Should it break out? Well, good for us. We'll we'll relook at this to see whether we want to go with this as the flat. That is a possibility. We're not excluding that possibility. Yet. So right now, come back here. This is coming down. It's corrective. We know that. We just need it to finish and then go up. Can we sell it? Is there a sell set up here? It's making a flat, so it will drop one more. The flat is incomplete, just like the Aussie, just like everything else. I think we still have that short move to finish, so I'll go with one, two, three here. If you sold this, you did excellent. Watch it when it breaks this low. Get it to positive. It might break this low as well. A running flat, come back here. Once we get here, we're looking for a sell setup. The question is whether we get that now, right? If we get that, we're looking for a sell setup. So there's no trade here right now. If you took a short-term sell, get it to positive. Swiss. Sorry about that, guys. Swiss. Same here. This was a buy setup. This one was actually this small flat, right? The buy was for this small flat. That one, right? So you would have closed that trade, I think, definitely. Put an entry order above here. And go. If you saw this and you took this trade, that is also a good plan because you would have seen the pullback here, right? You would have seen this and then you would have gone with that. But if you put the entry here, that is good enough. You probably would have closed it on this one. Not the first pullback, but here. And if you did that, you did excellent. Now we still have the same pullback we have here like we have in all the other pairs and we're getting the same up move here like we're getting in all the other pairs. Most likely we'll break that up for a one, two, three. There's a good chance we're going to get a running flat here. And then upside. If this makes a flag, you can probably buy it to break that up. It might be worth going for that, the buy here. But you need a little flag to confirm that because it could still drop more, right? The minute you jump in, it just drops like this and then drop like this and then drops like this and then drops like this. And then do that, do this, and then go up, right? I think we've seen that happen as well. So wait for a little flag to confirm your possibility for break even. That's actually what you want. Okay, let's go. This one was easy. We had a running flat. It kind of go up. This sharp pullback, I don't know why we needed that, but it happened. It's kind of an unnecessary piece within the structure, but it's still part of the up move. So you got one, you got two, and it goes up. This We should have got a sharp wave somewhere. This was a flat of its own, so we haven't got anything like that, which means it could still pull back really sharp. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually drops and then go, and then we will look at this as a possible running flat. Right within that structure, just like this one in here, right? So there's a chance you're going to get that. It might also not happen if that's a five-minute kind of a correction of its own. So now that we're at the top there, first you're looking for this and then one more up, or you're looking for total drop, which means any flag we get. If you're buying this good, you can take that trade. Just be very cautious about it because there's already divergence. What you want this to do is reverse, give you a flag, and then we sell. It might just do this and go back up, or it might drop to the bottom with just that low. Now, yen is totally looking downside, if you look at it in the big picture. This looks total downside. We might end up making this move, right? So let's see. This is just a deep pullback, and they had deep pullback. You see this piece, how deep pullback they were? You see this one, how deep that pullback was, and they make a lot of deep pullback here. So that is normal. The deep pullback is normal. The question is, well, we're in this one. That's a really big pullback, much bigger than I expected. I don't think we'll put it with this. So that might be a standalone, or we'll see if we want to put that one with this here. I don't like either. So we'll just wait and see what this does. Putting it with this, maybe that's an option if it drops. So what you're looking for is for the downside. You're looking for the sell setup on this pullback. We don't have a sell setup as yet. Actually, you had a buy setup here this morning if you wanted to take the trade, but it's a very aggressive trade. You have to really be careful. It's a buy, you can take it, but just be careful. The best buy would have been from this one here to break this top and then get the break even, or from the bottom here if you could get the trade. Cad? Okay, they did drop, so you can put it like this. We drop one more, drop to the bottom here. So this was all the correction. And we're going up, expect a flat here. This is just one pullback. I don't think that's a total correction for upside. 
it would be better if they actually come back to here. Just like kind of go there, come back here, give you this flat, and then that buy would be perfect. Wait for a flag here, buy. What if that doesn't happen? Or if that doesn't happen, let this break the top because it's gone already. Break the top, make a flag here, and then buy. That would confirm, well, this was all the correction. Right? That was all the correction, and we're going. But you wouldn't know that now until you get a flag above the top. One second, guys, let me just move this. It's kind of standing in the way for me. So keep your eyes on that, right? <clears throat> Expect this to pull back, sorry. Expect this to go there, pull back, make a flat, and then we'll be looking for that trade-off. A buy from here would be perfect. CAD is more upside, I think this is pretty clear. We're expecting it to go up more, probably all the way to this top. And then we'll see what happens from there. Get here and then we'll see if we get the downside or if it breaks out to the upside. Most likely it would be the downside. So we have covered all the majors. We're going to look at cryptos. We're going to look at cryptos and then we look at some of these um, indices and stocks. Natural gas. Okay, at this point, I thought this would go up. This one is a little, it didn't break the top even. So we will probably get a contracting flat there. That means we didn't get the sell. I would not sell that. No no way there. I've been looking for the buy setup, which we didn't get. So let's see this. Contracting flats are always going to be your problem with wave analysis. Like this sell was good. This one was not there. We actually are going down lower. Here's the thing. We're only expecting this much down, right? It can go a little lower. I don't think it's over because I don't think we have anything for this. It doesn't mean that it can go lower, right? It can go much lower than that. It would probably come here. It could go more. Can it break the low and this is a standalone correction? I don't think so. I don't think we can even fit that with anything else, but we'll see when that when the time comes. If you get a sell set up here, take it with caution. I'll leave this open and I'll leave the line so you know that you're about to make a low. If you get any sell setup here, take it with caution. But if you get any buy setup, should this reverse and make a flag here, no hesitation in taking the buy. The sell you will have to take with caution, especially if you get one sharp pullback, wait for the flag because a running flat is possible. All contracting flats can be running flats in the future. And that's the danger of contracting flats, right? Is that if it is a contracting flat here and they pull back like this, that might just turn to be a running flat for one more down. If you get a flag here and you want to sell it, nothing's wrong with that. You just have to be very, very cautious about the flag. US oil, that was a sell setup. No, I think this one, we were already looking for a buy. There was a reversal here. Yes, you did have a reversal here. So there was a buy setup on the very small flag. I think you would have closed this and re-entered if you did, you did well. It actually made a nice little flat here. So if you put an entry order here for the buy, that's also an option. So this buy, if you're still in it, put it to break in. If you're not in it, put it above the top here, and you can just put it like that. That's an option for the buy. Because you already have a flat there, which means this is going to go higher. We're expecting this to go higher. Yes, we're expecting this to go a little more. Kind of drop, drop. This should pull back. This pullback could either be a pullback to the top here and drop again, or total upside. All right, let's go to this one. From this point, you could go back and retest this top. We don't know that this is not making something of its own here. Right, uh, the depth of it is really big, so I don't think we're totally going up, but a bigger correction here is possible. And it could be a bigger correction if it's going to drop more, then this could become a flat eventually or just a correction. So the buy is not a bad idea. Let's see how far it takes you. Right, you're trying to correct this piece, which is good enough, that means it can go pretty high. So you can use that as a buy. US 30. The buy actually should have been from this piece. I think you would have pulled that buy once it breaks the low. That buy should have been off. I don't think that was a sell. I think we we're trying to buy this flat here for upside, but you should have bought this flag here. So if you were buying this flag here and it actually come here, that you pull that buy off because that is not valid anymore. We're still in this. Right? See, this one actually broke the logo back. We're still here. So if you look at it this way as an expanding flat, we had an expanding flat here already, right? We had one expanding flat in this. So could this be another expanding flat here? If that's the case, you got a sharp move down, a sharp move down, you get a sharp move down here and then out of it. So would this be an expanding triangle? Maybe. Let's see if we get a sell setup coming here. Because the buy setup here is a bit dangerous. 
especially since everything is expanding like that. And this one did come back to the low here. I don't think that would be a correction of its own. I don't see that as a correction of its own. I see more as an expanding. But we'll be very cautious in any trade we take here. You'll have to get a really good setup. I don't see any setup there for the buy. I don't see any for the sell. Because this is still doing this, which means it has to go back up, come back here. This could be a buy setup, and that would be short term. We could take it. You have a sharp one here. So they might break the top pull back. If we get this flat here, and it started to go up, we'll buy this. If it comes all the way to the bottom, we'll just assume that this is a smaller correction of its own. Come to the bottom and then look for that. So if you from the top here, you get any sell, or from it stops here and go back, if we get any buy, we'll take it. So in this piece, you could get both the buy and the sell setup. Let's wait and see which one we get. S&P 500, I think this one was easier. This was the short sell for this piece, just this piece coming down, and then the bigger one should have been the buy. It went up, came back down. Your trade should close for positive. You're in this now. That would be the one, two, three. With a flat, expanding flat in the middle. <clears throat> so this trade should be positive. That's the first impulse. You wouldn't close on the first impulse. The drop here, it goes up. It's still a buy. I think this is a clear buy. This one didn't break the low. So this would have been a buy here. Break even probably. Because it stayed here for a while. Now we're making another flat. You're making this to probably come back here. Maybe go there, come back there, give you a flat there. And then upside. So you probably wait for that flat to complete itself and then go for the buy setup. We need to break this stock. Remember when we were saying it can't drop before it break that top, right? So it was going really slow here and it's still going slow. We're breaking that up. Now every buy you have to be very, very cautious. Because we're getting divergence internally. And this is on the daily. In the four hour, you'll see the divergence clearly. Yeah, divergence. And we broke the top. Before this drop, we need to break that top. Now that we've broken the top, if there is sell setup, I don't think there's sell setup as yet, but if there's sell setup, we can go for it. Because now we've completed this piece by breaking that top, right? That could be a complete correction of its own. It doesn't mean that it stops here. It means that it could be a complete one because the top is broken. This could still go much further. It could even go all the way to this top. And we still don't know whether this, take that off. We still don't know whether this is all the correction of its own. I'll take this off as well. We don't know if this is all the correction of its own. And this is just a slow move up to break the top. Or it's part of a bigger correction. I believe it's part of a bigger correction because if you look at the bigger structure, this is too small time-wise to be the correction. So time-wise, you need a bigger one here. So I wouldn't be surprised if this comes here and come back down within that range. So as you're getting to the top there and you're breaking the top, you're going to be more cautious with what happens here. Right? We get the flat, we go for the buy, we take the trade and we manage it. NASDAQ should be the same. Right? NASDAQ was the sell because we were in this structure here, right? And that breaking the top could have dropped. So this dropped. Also positive, whether you close it for break even or not, but definitely positive if it drops this much and start to go back, if you took the trade. So we're going to put this as an expanding flat in here. I think this one is clear, little expanding flat. So you got that. We're actually going back up. So we're still in this structure and we're still in this impulse. And we're coming back. I'm going to take this off now and put it. I just want to know where the top is, right? So that's the top. Take this off. We already broke the top. We already broke the bigger top. So we're just making a huge flat here. I think this would be the impulse in that huge flat, and this is the correction, which means we will come back to retest this low. This is already telling us that this piece, this little piece here, will come back to retest the low. Any cell setup you get, take it. Right now, you don't have any cell setup. You're in this flat. Right? This might come back here, probably even go there and come back here, then break that top or break this top. It doesn't, not necessarily breaking this top, just break this top, and then we need to come down here and then go back up. That would be a bigger flat on the four hour. So in the four hour, we're making a bigger flat there. And then we will go one more up. We broke this top already. So one more up will mean breaking this top again. Not necessarily this one. But we could break that. So let's see. Look for any cell setup you get from there. Any cell setup you get from there coming down. Maybe not as yet. But if you're going to get it after this flat is completed, we'll take it. So there's a smaller 50 minutes flat forming right there now for upside. That would be this. And then upside and then downside. 
Tesla, look for the sell setup. It's about to happen. This might stay here for a while, retest the top, then drop, because this is the impulse. You're still consolidating in that impulse. Okay, this one broke out. We're, we're at the top of a bigger correction here, right? See this whole big correction? We're at the top of it now, so this is going slowly here. It can go some more. I don't know. You either put this one or you can do it a contracting flat. Take this off. It didn't come down low, so you can take it as a contracting flat. We wanted to retest that low contracting flat. Is at the top? Look for a sell setup. The sell setup would either be this drop, a total drop all the way back to the bottom here, or just a slow back to this one, and then up again. Look for the sell setup. I think we're getting a sell setup here. We're taking. Put an entry under the low. Not necessary that it will go back there. I'll take this off. That's the top we broke. Put an entry for a sell here. This is a good trade. Even if it doesn't go, you will get out for positive. And if you manage it properly, you're going to get out for positive. Sell setup. Even if it's just to come back like this for a possible running flat, right? So think running flat for now. I'll take this off. Think running flat, you need one more impulse down like this. And then running flat for upside. This one is too small, so I wouldn't go with the contracting flat. We'll assume running flat. If I'm wrong about the running flat, then it goes much more down. So go with that trade. Um, This one, we never got this piece. Oh, you got a running flat. You have it here, right? See, it's there, so... Go running flat here. And this is the top. This is another small flat. Same thing like this. I need it. We need to come back here. And then you can look for a buy setup. One more up. To break this top, right? The bigger structure we were expecting to go break that top. See this? If you break out of this structure, you're going to break this top here. And we're breaking out of the structure. So there's a small flat form in there to break that top. How high it's going to go? Well, we don't know. But we're going to break that up and then we'll see. Uh, nifty. Buy setup here was good. Look for another buy setup right here. Bitcoin. Okay, did break out of this small flag. Didn't break the top. So we're still in this consolidation. If you were in that trade, I hope you took break even. You should have taken break even. The one over is like ages before it actually dropped. Actually, this was a good sell setup. Once this came out here and didn't break the top, but did this, you could have actually expected to come back and retest this low as a one, two, three, and then probably go back there. So if you took that trade, you did well, right? You should have seen that as part of the, you never broke the top, right? As part of the correction. Do we still see this part of the correction? Let's see, let's take this out and see how it looks. We'll probably go with this from this point, from the lowest point. This would be a smaller contracting flat here. A one, two, three. A one, two, three. This is a one, two, three. This one came down pretty low. It's still upside because we came back all the way to the top there. This is just a deep pullback. <clears throat> we don't really need a deep pullback anywhere. But you got a deep pullback. So if you get a buy set up here, it's back to the top. What you look for is if this becomes a flag for upside buy. It's already becoming something like this. And if it comes something like that, that becomes a buy setup first to the top and then see if it breaks out. So this is actually a good buy setup forming there. Should it go slowly, then you'll get a sell setup. Let's say instead of going fast, it ends up going. I mean, it gives you the flag, but then it starts to do this. Well, then there's a good chance you're going to drop again. If it's going to go up, it's going to go fast. Ethereum. I think we broke that top. This was the top showing the top. This was a good sell setup if you saw that. I wasn't here on Friday, but if you saw this dropping, I probably would assume that they would go back up. But if you saw this dropping, this would have been a good sell setup here from that flag. So if that, if you were there and you saw that, that's a good sell, especially since it's not breaking the top and making consolidation. We dropped sharp move down. That by itself doesn't mean anything as yet until we get a consolidation here. So I'll take off that one. That was the buy. This was the top. That wasn't the buy. Now the top is here. I'll put the top back again. This is a single drop. 
in the big picture, it can go a little more, but it's still in this corrective structure, right? We're still in this corrective structure, which means I wouldn't be surprised if they actually come back all the way to the low. And that means that any kind of a correction we get in this range here would be a cell set up back to the bottom. And this would be a corrective structure. Now, can it come down back like this and go, come down back like this and go, come down back like this and go? Yeah. But then it's downside. It has to correct them words, then go. So cell setups would be definitely something we'll take. If you get any cell setup, you take it. Can it become a buy setup and still go up? This would be a flat by itself. If that happens, then this becomes a bigger flat. Right? This goes up back there, come back here, and then go. So if you get a buy setup here, you're taking that with a lot of caution to be the B part of it. If you get a sell, you're assuming it's going to drop. So let's see which comes. Go to the 15 minutes, see which comes first. XRP, this one was easy. These flags were easy to sell coming down. And that means we're going to retest the low. Yeah, we will definitely at least retest this low here. And then we'll have a flat here, right? This would be most likely a big flat. Come here and then probably upside again. If you look at it, there's a one, two, three for this here. So if you get a correction, drop a correction, drop like this did a correction, drop a correction, drop, go for the cells. There are still cell setups in here. Can it be a contracting flat and they go up from here? Let's see, can we look at this as a possible contracting flat? And this goes up. Well, if you get a flag to buy here, you can consider that that it might be a contracting flat for one more up. And then go with it. So see which one comes here. If you get a buy setup, take it with caution. But if you get a sell, definitely take it to break this low. Okay, AUD coming down back. ADA, sorry. ADA coming down back. This would have been a great sell setup. If you saw that, that would have been a good sell setup. It's coming down sharp. It's not coming down so much like a flat. But can it go higher? Yes, we're breaking out of this curve. We're in that curve. We're breaking out. We're starting to go up. Breaking that curve means this could start a big up move. All right. So what you want to see here is this becoming a buy setup, maybe a flat. So if we assume that this is a one, two, three for a buy, you want to see a flag here that gives you a buy setup. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to see a flag here. If you think that that is one, two, three, then wait for a flag here. and take this flag to the upside. Should it come back to the low? It will probably consolidate here and drop again. Okay, this dropping is easy and this will definitely break the low. All right, this one was easy. This one wasn't that difficult. So this should break this low and maybe break the entire low. All right, that not only break that low, but come and break this low as well. And then go back up. I wouldn't be surprised if this comes here. And then we actually get, this would be a better buy setup if it comes. Breaks the low, break the entire structure, and then start the upside. We I actually thought this would take off. Because there was a big chance for it to take off. But it seems like they're not ready for the upside. There's not enough buyers. So we're going to retest the low. And once we retest this low, you're starting to look for this move up. That is the equivalent of this. So if this is not it, it looks like that is not it already because we dropped. We don't only drop out of the buy, we're making a big flat here, which means downside, then look for this trade. So you have a second chance at that. I know some of our traders were in this. I hope you close them. I think Ovidu was in this. I hope you close it. So what you're going to do now is you're going to try to get it back to the bottom and then go in this one for a longer one again to the top. That would be a nice repeat. So let's see. We could get this one. And it might be faster this time. So it's giving you a second chance if you miss the first chance. Can this actually go up from here? Like this is the first impulse and this is a huge flat. Then we might need to break this low at least. So it still needs to drop one more before it does that. They might as well break the entire low. All right, so if this needs to drop one more, it might just need to drop one more to break this low here. Like that, they might as well just break the entire low. That would make the trade much better. Dot, also downside. It's coming back pretty deep. 
I think most of these cryptos I warned, they're still in consolidation. They're not likely to go make the new high, right? So keep an eye on them. Some of them look like they can go, but this one, okay, this one is, that's interesting. We might eventually go with this run, this flat here, this running flat. If this comes back to the low, because this could be part of another running flat in here. All right, so it depends which one we look at. Should this come back all the way to the low here? We'll go with that running flat and then from there upside. All right, this is just making the consolidation phase. We spoke about that. If you get a sell set up here, go with the possibility that they are coming back to retest this low and then go. Every time they retest the low, it's your chance to buy, right? Like when the first time you tag the low, look for buy setups. So this was the first time they broke the loader. Look for buy setups all the way there. And let's see what happens here. Okay, let this, this is a deep pullback, very deep. Could that be that they're trying to go up with this? Like all of them, you need to get a flag here to consider if you're buying. AVA, this one also dropped, but this could still be upside. This one structurally could still be upside. It's not showing any downside. And there's a possibility that you might be looking at a possibility for an upside here. Keep your eyes on whether you get a setup. It's coming back down. It could be consolidating this range in an upside. So this looks like downside. This should drop. I think we expected this to drop. Yep. Let's see. We're expecting a running flat here and then upside. We're expecting this to happen. All right, this piece. So if it starts there, it could go a little more and then upside. Yeah. This one is just making a running flat thing. So what you need here is just to make a correction like this, probably stay here a little bit more and then drop here and then go. Right, same here, up move for this, for this one, and then down move for this one. If you flip it, it's gonna be like this. Running flat and then upside. Running flat and then upside. Any buy here is a good idea. All right, so any buy setup you get here is a flag, that's a good idea for upside. I think this one was easy. Let's see if we get a buy setup. I'll go. This one is not short. We expected this to pull back here and go. It didn't pull back. It just went. And now it's pulling back really deep. That means, do we have anything to match that with? No. This was the low, which means this could still be a big correction for upside. Right, that pull back could still be a big correction for one more up. Pull a trend line and see if you get a flag here for a buy or a sell. If you get a flag for a buy, we take the trade. If it comes down lower for the sell, you leave it, right? So... What you want to see is whether this makes a flag here. And then we buy to get to the top and see if it breaks out. Should it drop, make a flag, drop, make a flag, drop, make wait for a pullback, sell it. Right? The downside, you want to see some kind of a flat. The upside, all you need is a flag. Same here. This one actually came back to the top. So the upside is more likely. Let's see what the bigger picture says. The upside is more likely. The buy set up here is not a bad idea. What does it say in the bigger picture? That's going to be four hours. There's more upside. There's a lot more. Upside. See all these deep pullback? They still kept going up. So I think this would still go all the way to the top. Wait for the buy setup. Go with it. Any buy setup in here would be a good trade. So a lot of them have buy setups. And a few of them have sell setups. Let's see which one goes. Maybe you end up with a lot of sideways movement instead of the up or down. So trade with them with care, watch them. The ones that have downside, wait for them to break the low and then go for the trade. So okay, guys, I hope you managed to watch all of that to the end. To my YouTube traders, trade with care. Have a good week ahead of you. And if you would like to access our live session, send me a Skype message. Thank you very much.